What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here from FanDuel on the Hurry Up and I'm here talking about the training camp trend up rookie edition. Let's start with Travis Etienne at running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now this guy has been going, he's, his ADP is creeping up. You guys are getting, you're getting keen on it. He's going at the turn around the fourth and fifth round. But listen, this guy's been blowing it up all camp. And listen, we, we understand what what's going on here with Jacksonville. I mean, Urban Meyer's there. They brought in Daryl Bevel at the offensive coordinator position who should have the, the training wheels taken off. This is a guy who may be known for his run attack, but now has weapons um, that he can, you know, open up the playbook. You know, he was stuck behind Matt Patricia, stuck in Pete Carroll's offense, and they wanted him to establish the run. And now you have a guy in ETN who's explosive. I talked about LaVisca Chenault in that offense, DJ Chark. They're going to try and do things to open this offense up and, and really make things easier on Trevor Lawrence. And you're looking at ETN. He's having a ton of splash play splash plays they drafted him at the 25th pick and when you're talking about for fantasy drafts getting a guy of this caliber you know if you starting with two wide receivers and can get him as your rb2 even that would that would be fantastic he's going to be a monster for ppr purposes i expect this year going to be all over the field get yourself some some etn this year in your drafts now let's move on to the quarterback position here the boy trey lance in san francisco the number three pick of course he has to come up here listen this guy's getting drafted in the 13th round right now and you know around guys like Justin Fields and and Tua and and that's okay that that might seem right but if I think he's still getting held back because of Jimmy Garoppolo in this you know training camp battle that's going on and we had Shanahan coming out and saying that he wouldn't have any reps with the the first team and now all this week he's getting reps with the first team he's being explosive in camp we had that Tuesday uh, 50 yard bomb that he had to Trent Sheffield there um, and, and Jimmy G you know is really up against the wire here it's probably his job to lose now even if Jimmy G were to get the starting job I still think there's a ton of weapons in this offense with Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle um, and, and some running backs as well to make life easy on Trey Lance when he does get the starting job. You're looking at the end of that schedule. The San Francisco 49ers are only going to play three teams from November on that are that were playoff teams in 2020. So you definitely like that when Trey Lance, uh, I think it's a foregone conclusion that he will get the starting job um, after a couple weeks, if not be the week one starter. And so right now where he's going in drafts, you definitely want to have some shares of him. And even if you're still doing, if you're getting into best balls right now, he's he's a perfect quarterback, I think, to, to pair with a guy who's not one of those top caliber top caliber quarterbacks. And let's close it out here with Rashad Bateman. Baltimore wide receiver, the rookie. Now, he's also been making splash plays in camp. This guy has been pretty much hanging out with Sammy Watkins. You know, it, it, Sammy Watkins has been in the league. He's still pretty young, but been in the been in the league forever. And you can see, you know, in training camp, he's kind of walking, walking Bateman through the system. And, and listen, this guy's going in the 13th round, right? So I, I understand uh, that Baltimore is not a passing offense. That's not what we think of them. But I've talked a lot about the Baltimore Ravens offense this year on fan on the FanDuel channels. And just with Greg Roman and Harbaugh saying that they want to open things up, let Lamar pass more, and then drafting a wide receiver in the first round, that's letting us believe that they, that they are wanting to do so. And there's definitely room for a wide receiver one to step up in this offense. You know, Marquise Brown has been there, but not your prototypical 1,000-yard receiver, not somebody who's going to be a possession receiver for Lamar. Mark Andrews struggled last year, but I think he'll bounce back. But I think Bateman in this offense is, is sky's the limit. He's going in practice against some of the best DBs in the league with this Ravens secondary. And you're looking at the Ravens last year who were 32nd or 31st in, in key categories at the wide receiver position receptions, receiving yards, receiving first downs and, and touchdowns. Uh, Bateman should come in here and, and lock it up. And when you're talking about getting a wide receiver who could be a wide receiver, you know, we're not going to go crazy talk about wide receiver, wide receiver two, but a wide receiver three for fantasy purposes going that late in drafts, I think that that's very key. And, and, you know, he should definitely pay off dividends for you. So definitely take some stock in Rashad Bateman this year. And that's going to do it for the hurry up, the, the fan duel hurry up this week. I'll be back um, again this week, hopefully talk about the Hall of Fame game with you guys. We can finally play some DFS on the fan duel channel. Ryan Williams signing off for fan duel. Catch us on the YouTube stream. See you next time.